Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 4 plus square root of 6 divided by square root of 1 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 8. So, solution from here. The next step is we can say let x be equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 3, plus square root of 4, plus square root of 6. Everything here divided by square root of 1, plus square root of 3, plus square root of 8. The next step from here, we can proceed and have in the numerator square root of 2, plus square root of 3. Then we can express 4 as square root of 2 times 2, then plus, we can express square root of 6 as square root of 3 times 2. Then divided by square root of 1, this is 1, plus square root of 3, plus, we can express square root of 8 as square root of 4 times 2. The next step is that if you have the square root of A times B, we can express this as square root of a. This can be expressed as square root of a multiplied by square root of b. Now, applying this property, then here we'll have square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 2 times square root of 2 plus square root of 3 times square root of 2 divided by 1 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus now here this is square root of 4 times square root of 2. Now the next step from here we have that square root of 2 plus square root of 3 then plus square root of 2 times square root of 2. Then plus square root of 3 times square root of 2. All this divided by 1 plus square root of 3. Plus square root of 4 can be expressed as 2 square root of 2. Now let's proceed from here. Now we have here that is square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Now you can see square root of 2 here is common. We can factor out square root of 2 in here so that now here we'll have square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Then all this divided by this is the same thing as 1 plus square root of 3 then plus now this is the same thing as square root of 2 okay plus square root of 2. Now, this is the same thing as square root of 2 plus square root of 2. Now, from here, from here, we proceed and have that x is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Then plus square root of 2. Okay, here we have square root of 2 plus square root of 3 divided by 1 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2. So that now here we can have, we can have, now this is the same thing as this part and this part is the same, square root of 2 plus square root of 3. So we can have 1 plus square root of 2. And then here we have square root of 2 plus square root of 3 divided by. So here we'll have 1 plus square root of 2. 1 plus square root of 2. Then plus here we'll have square root of 2. 
plus square root of 3. Now, from here, from here, we can just say, let a be equal to 1 plus square root of 2, and let b be equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 3. So by substituting a and b, by substituting a and b, x will be equal to, this is the same thing here, and the numerator will have a times b divided by a plus b. So that now, 1 over x, this is the same thing as a plus b divided by a times b. So let's proceed from here. Now here we have 1 over x is equal to a plus b over ab. But you recall that a is equal to 1 plus square root of 2 and b is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 3. So from what we have here, this is the same thing as 1 over x. This is equal to a divided by ab plus b divided by ab, which is the same thing as 1 over x is equal to 1 over b plus b and b simplifies, so this is 1 over a. So let's substitute a and b, so that here this is 1 over square root of 2 plus square root of 3 then plus 1 over a is 1 plus square root of 2. So let's proceed from here. So we'll have 1 over x. This is equal to 1 over square root of 2 plus square root of 3. And then here we'll have plus 1 over 1 plus square root of 2. So the next step from here, the next step from here, we can express this as 1 over x. This is equal to 1 over square root of 3 plus square root of 2, then plus 1 over square root of 2 plus 1. The next step from here, let's introduce a conjugate. Let's multiply, let, let's rationalize the denominator here. Let's rationalize the denominator by introducing a conjugate that is square root of 3, subtract square root of 2. Here we'll have square root of 3, subtract square root of 2. And here we'll have square root of 2, subtract 1, divided by square root of 2, subtract 1. So we are rationalizing the denominator of square root of 3 plus 2 and square root of 2 plus 1, so that 1 over x will be equal to square root of 3, subtract square root of 2, divided by, now you can see square root of 3 plus square root of 2, times square root of 3 minus square root of 2, this is in the form of a plus b, a minus b, which we can express as a squared minus b squared. So applying this property, we will have here square root of 3 squared subtract square root of 2 squared. And then we add, that is square root of 2 subtract 1 divided by square root of 2 squared subtract 1 squared. So 1 over x will be equal to, this is the square root of 3 subtract square root of 2 divided by now square root of 3 squared we eliminate the square root sign so this is 3 minus again eliminate the square root sign here so minus 2 then plus here we'll have square root of 2 subtract 1 divided by we eliminate the square root sign here so this is 2 subtract 1 So again here, 1 over x, this is equal to square root of 3, subtract square root of 2, divided by 3 minus 2, this is 1, then plus square root of 2, subtract 1, divided by 2 minus 1, this is 1. Now, the next step from here, we'll have 
1 over x will be equal to square root of 3 subtract square root of 2 plus square root of 2 subtract 1. So negative square root of 2 plus square root of 2, this simplifies, so that 1 over x, this is equal to square root of 3, subtract 1. So this implies that x is equal to 1 over square root of 3, subtract 1. So x is the reciprocal of square root of 3 minus 1 which is 1 over square root of 3 minus 1. So, now here we have x is equal to 1 over square root of 3 minus 1. So the next step here, let's rationalize the denominator here by introducing a conjugate, which is square root of 3 plus 1. We also do the same case to the numerator here, square root of 3 plus 1. So this will be equal to square root of 3 plus 1 divided by square root of 3 minus 1 and square root of 3 plus 1. This is in the form of a plus b, a minus b, and this can be expressed as a squared minus b squared. So that now here we'll have square root of 3 squared subtract 1 squared. So that here, we'll have square root of 3 plus 1 divided by square root of 3 squared here, we simplify. So this is the same thing as 3 subtract 1. So that this is square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 1, which is equal to, to 2. Square root of 3 plus 2. So that implies that x is equal to square root of 3 plus 1 over 2. And this is the solution to this math problem. This is the solution to this square root math problem. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.